All right, what's up, y'all? This is the Stimulated Podcast, and I got my first guest, Brandy Ooh. Yvonne. What's cracking? What's up? I'm so hey. happy to be here. I'm so honored to be the first guest. Excited that, you know, you asked me, and yes, yeah. I'm just, yeah. Thank you for coming. <laughs> I appreciate it. Of course, of course. Uh, so tell me and tell the people about yourself. Uh, where are you from? So I'm from Dallas, Texas. Okay. What part, if you don't mind me asking? Um... Grew up in Plano. Plano, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And so, uh, growing up, what were you into? So, I was a dancer my whole life. Okay. Um, I danced, I cheered, um, I was always active. I tried basketball, didn't work out. Mm-hmm. Um, track, did that as well. So, I pretty much, like, literally remained active my whole life, but okay. mainly a dancer. I okay. I my whole life, probably 18 years. So, what led you into fitness? Um, after I stopped dancing with my dance company, I started my fitness company, mm-hmm. um, which started in the gym. Mm-hmm. Um, I would be consistently in the gym all the time after I stopped dancing because I'm like, what can I do to keep myself active? Right. Obviously, let's go to the gym. Yeah, yeah. Um, so as I was in the gym a lot, um, going into the gym consistently turned into going and turning into a gym psycho after a um, bad breakup that I went through. Okay. Um, so I kind of would just cast out anything I was going through and take it to the gym. How old were you when this breakup happened? I was 20. 20. Okay. So I used to have like a fragile mind, still finding yes, yourself in the exactly. way. Exactly. Exactly. So, uh, you, you hit the gym every day and then yes. what, what happened? How, well, first off, did you weigh a lot? Cause I know some women. Oh no, I was so, so crazy. Did I weigh a lot? Yeah. No, I was so skinny. It's so out of all things so you could have did, what made you hit the gym? I don't even know. I was like, okay, well, I'm not going to keep, like, I'm not in a dance company anymore. Yeah. So, with the skinny girls, mm-hmm. I don't know if it's like a body dysmorphia type thing, but we're like, I want to go to the gym. I need to get skinnier. I want to be more fit. But I was like that skinny fat. Yeah. Like, I wasn't uh, really super toned. <laughs> yeah. I wasn't like, I was still, you know, small. Yeah, yeah. To, to the average, you know, to, to the average person. But mm-hmm. to me, I'm like, no, I'm skinny. Yeah. Something gotta give. Yeah. So started going to the gym um, uh, a lot. Like I said, that became kind of just like my safe zone. Gotcha. I would be going there if I ever, you know, if I was sad or if I was crying or whatever. Therapy. Yeah, uh-huh. exactly. Like my therapy. Mm-hmm. So as I was going there a lot, um, I would just kind of notice people coming up to me asking me, like, oh, am I doing this right? Mm-hmm. Like, hey, I like this workout that you're doing. Or show me that. And I'm like, I'm not a trainer. Like, there's a lot of people around here. <laughs> so what laid the foundation? Because I know when I first got into uh, fitness, I was around that same age, uh-huh. uh, 20. Yeah. For me, it was The Rock. Like, I saw The Rock when I, uh, it was Pain and Gain. Uh-huh. And I was like, that motherfucker right there, I want to be just like him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And so, uh, you know, I studied him, studied his, his workouts. Like, right. for you, for people to come up to you, you had to be studying something. What were you studying? Or was that already within? I feel like it was within. Like, I would be... A natural I, gift. Yeah. Okay. And I think that that's kind of what's had my company do so well, which, yeah. you know, is further down the line. But uh-huh. no, a lot of the stuff I was doing, like, I wouldn't see anywhere. Yeah. I wouldn't, like, I didn't even start watching workout videos until I got, like, heavier into my career. Like, you know, just studying more. Um, and then, of course, you know, with my certification and all that. But mm-hmm. before that, no. Literally was, like, making shit up. Yeah. By myself. Or... Like, oh, this is challenging. Let me, you know, let me add this. And that's probably from my dance background, too. Okay. Like, the choreography side and all that, so. So, was it, like, a main goal in mind, or was you, were you just, like, working no, out? No, I was just working out super heavy. And then okay. I remember, like, once, and maybe I didn't see my own progress, but I remember I went to Vegas one time, and one uh-huh. of my homeboys was like, B, like, what, you look like a horse. Like, what are you eating? Yeah. <laughs> like, what are your legs? So I was like, oh, shit, okay. Yeah. Well. It's paying you know, off. Yeah, it's yeah. paying off. <laughs> Um, mind you, like I said, it was just, you know, people coming and asking me. So I'm like, okay, I clearly display some type of leadership or mm-hmm. they want to follow me or they like what I'm doing. So right. let me see. I'm, I'm always the type of person, like, what can I do that I love that's going to help me or that's going to make money? Gotcha. So that's where the whole, like, Certification. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Certification. Started my company. So the, uh, before you started the company mm-hmm. with training, like... How deep did you go into that before you say, hey, like, I think I'm ready to start my own thing? I started working out with one of my really close homeboys who actually inspired me to want to do it. He's like, you're mm-hmm. a beast. Like, people will listen to you. You know, yeah. you got the image. You know, you need to, yeah, you need to kind of market off of this mm-hmm. and see where it goes. So um, I started, like, really training heavy with him. And then he mm-hmm. helped me just kind of get into, you know, the certification side. And mm-hmm. then I went into starting the company. Like I said, I started with... Two people. Okay. And 
growth. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now I have like hundreds of people. So it's, yeah. Uh, maybe 103 soon, right. you know. <laughs> Come see me. Yeah. So uh, summertime fitness. Summertime fine fitness. Summertime mm-hmm. fine fitness. Mm-hmm. How did you come up with that? And what is the mission of the company? Um, so I struggled with the name for a very long time. Mm-hmm. Um, when I did decide that I wanted to start my company, everybody was body by somebody here. This yeah. and this and that. So I'm like, no. Same old. Um, so I'm laying in bed one night mm-hmm. and I'm listening to Pandora and um, J. Cole's song comes on um, in the morning mm-hmm. and he's like, hey girl, you summertime fine. And I was like, <gasps> can I hit it in the morning? <laughs> yes. 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 Yeah. Was he right? Yeah, yeah. So I'm like, that's it. Uh-huh. Shout out to J. Cole. Love you. Um, Inspired uh, yeah. entrepreneur now. Exactly. Yeah. So after that, I was like, you know what? Let me take that. And mm-hmm. you want to be summertime fine all year round. You should be okay. summertime fine all year round. Mm-hmm. You shouldn't just wait for a season to make it start happening. You need to be summertime fine. All year summer. round. Exactly. Yeah. So, that's kind of my mission statement. It's just don't let it be a hobby. It needs to become a lifestyle mm-hmm. year round. So. so before you started Summertime Fine Fitness, mm-hmm. were you always an entrepreneur? Were you always selling something? Yeah. Okay. Was what, was, what was the first thing you were selling? Oh, my gosh. I started selling, like, this cheap jewelry that I got from, like, this. How old were you? 19. 19. Okay. Yeah. I started selling this jewelry that I found at this, like, cheap wholesale mart like off Harry mm-hmm. Hines somewhere and people are buying it so yeah. I was like um okay well then you know clearly I have the seller's mindset yeah um and I have the ambition I have that hustle like I'm just always been the type to have my you know I always think it's important to have various streams of income yeah so even if you're working or I'm doing this I'm also gonna I'm always gonna have something else going on so, so. what was the next thing after the jewelry I tried to start a clothing. Well, I didn't try. I started a clothing boutique. Yeah. Started selling clothes. Okay. Um, did the whole you know LA thing, mm-hmm. wholesale trip and bringing stuff back. Okay. So did that. Yeah. So hold on. You would go to LA, mm-hmm. pick up clothes, mm-hmm. sell it back here in Dallas. Mm-hmm. Word. Okay. Yeah, because they have a lot of the wholesale um, stores out there. Okay. So I was doing that. Yeah. Um, what else did I do? Oh my gosh. And so at 20, like, I feel like at 20 slash 19, all this stuff came into play. Yeah. Like, it was Around so the same much. time, yeah. 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 And then, um, during that time, my job's still working out, but yeah. I just hadn't found that niche, like. Yeah. You're just hustling and going, yeah. like, literally trying to find your yeah, purpose. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So that makes sense. Yeah. Okay. So with Summertime Fine Fitness, how, how did you grow that business? Because I see you on Instagram and I'm going, hold on, man, she got, like, Five clients, and it seemed like you have a uh, an audience. Like mm-hmm. you went into it with audience with a certain program. Yes. So what is that like? Tell me. Um. So I target a certain. I feel like I target a certain group of girls. Yeah. A certain group of women, and I feel like honestly, it's that Instagram hype. Want to be in the gym? Mm-hmm. Want to be training like dudes? But we're really girls yeah i have that girl she um, got so fine clients y'all yeah, i'm yeah. letting y'all know <laughs> no but it's honestly that instagram girl yeah. the one who's like seeing it seeing other people working out and they're like i want to do that yeah so i really target instagram a lot okay um i'm always promoting on instagram uh-huh. my story is hella long people get annoyed with that but i'm like i don't care yeah. i don't like it you can unfollow yeah, nah. but that's my pe- people literally when i'm posting all day my workouts mm-hmm. and they are challenging good workouts yeah i literally probably get like at least three people a day yeah. at least asking mind you every person might not be signing up right away mm-hmm. but i'm reaching that audience that yeah. instagram audience yep. um when i look at my insights and i'm like okay so what i'm doing is clearly working so right. instagram has been an amazing outlet and an amazing marketing strategy for me yeah like that's what works for me so before have you always like was that always the game plan as far as social media being the the I would say the lead generator. Yeah. Because some people it's like word of mouth, hey, I'm gonna walk up and sell this person whenever I'm not they walk that in. Girl, though. Okay. I, I talk mind you, I do talk to people. I shop for workout clothes all the time. If yeah. I'm if I'm in Lululemon or if I'm in Nike or if I'm anywhere. Yeah. And I see girls that like I'm like, oh she might wanna I'm giving her my card. Yeah. Hey, do you spend? Come spend with me. Like I'm all I am talking, but I'm mm-hmm. not that girl who's just gonna randomly walk up. Yeah, yeah, I don't do that. Yeah. I think that my when when you see what I do, I think my, kind of my um, program kind of sells itself. Yeah. Um, and I think people want to be a part of it. I call my clients soldiers, and everybody's like, I want to be a soldier. 
care. Yeah. You know, if they do hey. approach me, they're like... It's a mindset. Yeah. Yeah. So how did you grow your following? What? How many followers do you have now? I have close to 40,000. Okay. Damn. Which has been great. Which also I feel like is, is it helps me a lot. Is the following that yeah. I built and okay. that I've grown for myself. And that was strictly from fitness. No, that was um, that kind of came from my modeling background. Okay. Um, from things that I've done, brands that I've worked with that have mm-hmm. either um, shouted me out or um, also just over time. Yeah. I think. Um, the fact that I am able to influence people in a positive way, mm-hmm. people follow people like yeah. that. You know what I mean? I'm Seriously. not I'm not on Instagram, mm-hmm. or on social media, telling girls f you, I'm better than you. Yeah. You know, I'm popular. No I hating. don't do that. Yeah, I'm yeah. very like about bettering yourself, empowering yeah. women, empowering people. Period. So mm-hmm. I think that people follow that, and I think that that's what's helped me with my with my follower growth as well. Okay, so, so for anybody that wants to train and. You know, do exactly what you do. What advice would you give them? Ooh, first thing, this is so important. Mm-hmm. Don't ever think that because 10 other people are doing it that you cannot. You have, I think some people get intimidated by that. They're like, well, it's seven other people selling juices. Right. Or it's seven other people that have clothing boots. It's a million trainers out there. Yeah, yeah. But you have to offer something different. You have to come and give your clients, your customers, something different. Don't ever mm-hmm. get discouraged by seven other boutiques or seven other juice places or seven other restaurants or whatever it is that you want to do. Don't let that discourage you because um, people are going to come to you because they like you. Seriously. Yeah. Yeah. And you're going to offer something different. You know, I'm never going to tell, you know, one of my clients or friends like, oh, don't go to so-and-so. They didn't know. No. Yeah. We're all about uplifting positive vibes. Everybody can win. It's so, it's too much money out here. It's too many opportunities for you to um, not want to do something because there's a lot of that. Right. So that's the first thing. And then I just mm-hmm. say, you got to grind it out. Like, you Hell really, yeah. really do. That sounds so cliche, but you really yeah. do. You cannot no. stop. you got to be diligent and put 150% into what you're doing. So I feel like there's some relatability here. Mm-hmm. Uh, as far as, for me, on the camera side, you know, like you said, you know, it's, it's a bunch of people that's probably doing the same thing that you want to do. Mm-hmm. You know, for me, personally, with the camera, I was like... Man, ain't no way I'm about to like do this like photography, videography right. shit, and like stand out. Yeah, and be like the average Joe. But like you do. In- initially, I thought that, but I said, "Yo, you know what? Mixing in the grind part, I modeled myself behind the same way I did with fitness. Uh, it was The Rock at mm-hmm. that time. After that, I modeled myself behind Future and Lil Wayne, mm-hmm. which is like, hey, grind it out, do shit for free. I don't know how you feel about that. I want to get your take on that." Mm-hmm. Uh, but the amount of, eventually word of mouth was spread. I, mean, I feel like that's one of the like most powerful. I've, have, has that worked for you, word of mouth? Absolutely. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. And to touch on what you said, mm-hmm. I am big on um, doing things for exposure and yeah. for opportunity. Uh-huh. Yes, 100%. Yep. Because to me, you're never too good to learn something. Never. You're never too smart to learn something. Yeah. You're never, you never know what you're going to take from any opportunity Ex- that you get. Exactly. You know? yep. Or, you know, if you're doing something for free, there's no telling who's in that room who notices you or whatever and can put you in a different position. So let me ask you this. How do you pick that one free client? Because with your clientele right now, you got, look, I know the people you work with. I done shot some of them. Mm-hmm. They find one, they got it. But then, how do you choose who you give a free session to. Because for me, I go, hey, this person has a following, like a true yeah. following base. Yes. Or I like their vibes. Yeah. Why not? You know, yeah. I'm going to take a shot. Like, I believe in what this person uh, is trying to do mm-hmm. and what they're shooting for. Yeah. Why not do something for free? Yeah. Um, so I, like you said, I pretty much choose that off of a following. Mm-hmm. Um, I feel like if I take care of you, you're going to take care of me. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, and I've gotten a lot of uh, a lot of girls that way, you know, mm-hmm. taking care of a certain girl. And I'm like, well, I know just alone her shouting out or, or doing this or doing that. I can bring five people. That's going to take care of her. Yeah. And, you know, others yeah. um, that are going to come to me as well. Mm-hmm. So I do it like that. And then, like you said, a vibe. Yeah. It's really like I would rather train somebody who has an amazing vibe and uh-huh. take care of them than take somebody's money who I'm like, I just don't vibe with you. Seriously. I don't like your attitude. I don't like you don't come in here. You don't want to work. Mm-hmm. So... Yeah, I don't mind, you know, picking up, you know, a couple of girls that I know will help me in the long run that will grow my brand. Gotcha. Yeah. 
So if you had to say, what are Brandy's five keys to success? Five keys to success. Yeah. Um, whew, focus. Focus, okay. Got to be focused. Goal-oriented. Yes, yeah. focus, goal-oriented. Um, time management. Okay. You got to be really good with your time management. Um, not to say that you can't work or like work too much mm -hmm. because I do believe that the most successful people really are overworked. Yeah. Like, really really truly are. Yeah. I feel like I feel overworked a lot yeah um but finding the time like mm -hmm. you know you gotta manage your time properly yeah. to be successful right. you can't sleep in until 1 p.m Hell expect not. to get a lot of shit done throughout yeah. the day you gotta get up at six seven you Eight. know whatever time Latest. clock yeah. yeah I mean it's only so many hours in the day yeah uh -huh. um so time management um diligence Staying diligent. Like, I feel like God rewards diligence. He sees you working, 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 putting 150% into what you love and what you're doing. Um, that's where you see success. Um, uh, I had another one that I was going to say. Oh, my gosh. Uh, it wasn't diligence. It was... Um, oh, my gosh. Focus. Time management, diligence. Uh -huh. um, what about grinding? Because I, yeah, I thought grinding, you said grinding, grinding is one of yeah. yours. Yeah, grinding. Um, I'm I'm a prayer. I'm a I'm a big you know I'm big in my faith. So, so faith would be faith, that fifth one. Yes, gotcha. Faith. You gotta have faith in what you do. You uh -huh. gotta you gotta understand your purpose and uh -huh. what you're doing it for. Yeah. Um, I feel like the most successful people have found that niche and have found and are really truly walking in their purpose. You gotta be. Um, passionate about what you're doing or you're not going to put anything into it i mean i wouldn't go mind you this is so off topic but mm -hmm. um i say this to say i, I don't i love hair mm -hmm. to, to death i love getting my hair done i love you know all that i'm not going to go start a hair company why because i'm not going to put 150 percent into it so i feel like it's not going to be successful yeah. but people do that and yeah. they wonder why like well you have to be passionate in it. you have passionate. to love what you're doing yeah, yeah. for it to be successful yeah. so i feel like i'm Anything that you do, you're going to be successful if you're passionate about it. Yeah, no, I agree with that 110%. Yeah. And I see you like hustling, you're doing your, your thing. Thank you. What is the overall big goal in the end? Um, my overall big goal is to have my own freestanding studio. Okay. Um, when you say freestanding studio. Freestanding, like brick and mortar type studio uh -huh. um, for spin. So right now, oh, okay. I'm, yeah. I'm at, yeah, so we're sharing a Talk space. About that. But yeah, so I want. Um, a freestanding studio with a juice bar attached. Okay. Um, and I want my uh, fitness clothing line to mm -hmm. kind of you know be picked up, take yeah. off, and then my fitness app. Yeah. Those are my yeah. Boss lady, hey, I like that. I like that. That's the goals. So. And so much more, but you know. That's the main. Yeah. Where can people find you, and if they wanted to book you, like where do they go? How do they do it? Yeah. So follow me, Brandy Yvonne. That's B R A N D I V O N N E on Instagram. Okay. Um, also, Summertime Five Fitness. That's Summertime Five Fitness, just like I was said. Mm -hmm. um, my website as well, Summertime Five Fitness. I'm on every social media platform: Twitter, Instagram, yep. Facebook. You gotta have Posting them all. every day. You got to have them all. Snapchat. Um, consistent or what? I'm most consistent on Instagram and Snapchat. Well, uh, what about them, as far as the handles names? Oh, oh, I'm yeah. sorry, I'm sorry. Yes, yeah. they're all the same. I keep okay. them all the same. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, follow Brandy Yvonne. She's the truth. She's a hustler. Yeah. I can vouch for. Thank you. Also, uh, last thing, speak on this new partnership with this clothing line that we shot today. Okay. Yeah. So um, got a uh, a deal with Good American. Okay. So that is Khloe Kardashian company and boss i what i i'm so excited to work with them because i mm -hmm. love what they stand for yeah they created a fitness and clothing line mm -hmm. from literally size zero to size 24 wow that's so rare and yeah. that's such a beautiful thing to me mind mm -hmm. you being a trainer i'm big on you know health and yeah and everything but i like the fact that like at a size 24 mm -hmm. you can still be healthy yeah at a size 18 you can still be healthy and I like that they are just all about women empowerment yeah. and being strong. And I like that they pick and choose their influencers that they want to work with. Yeah. Um, I really, really value that. So I'm excited to work with them and be a part of their of the Good Squad team. So, hey, yeah. 
So follow Brandy Yvonne. Follow Check it out. Here. This is the Stimulated Podcast. Thank you so much Thank for coming. You. Thank, Thank you, you for so the opportunity. Much. No, this is amazing. Like, everything flow. Like, oh, it's great. Hey. Y'all work with him. He is freaking amazing. Yes. And you guys can expect to see more work between her and I. The new Diddy at Mary J. Hey. Blige. The new, uh, I don't know what else to say, but, you know, if it's Batman and Robin, <laughs> she's Batman and I'm Robin. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah. Pay attention. Peace.